good morning to all how are you all uh days become um, warmer now so take care of your health because uh, uh for a student healthy body healthy mind is very important because these all things are uh, increasing your memory power uh, develop the concentration level clear uh, and uh, these all things are uh, are very important for any kind of uh, learning process okay so uh, drink plenty of water eat healthy food do some exercises uh, and um, and uh, take proper rest so these all things uh, increase your learning capacity or learning power okay so today we have to start the the last chapter of the uh, last chapter of the first unit so just we are going to start today's class with the third chapter and which is the last chapter of the first unit and that is rotation and revolution as we know that earth is one of the member of the solar system all the planets have their own orbits and they are revolving around the sun same way earth also earth revolves around the sun around the sun on it uh, uh, in an elliptical orbit and same time it rotates on its axis on its axis so these two motion of the earth are known as revolution and a rotation now we are just going to do the detailed study of rotation of the earth uh, what is rotation uh, what are the characteristics of rotation and what are the effects of rotation of the earth we are going to study so we will just see the rotation rotation is the spinning of the earth on its axis this red line is an imaginary line which is called as axis and the earth is rotating on its axis from west to east and the axis is imaginary line and which passes through the center uh, of the earth that is north pole and this is the south pole now we are just going to discuss the characteristics of rotation mainly three characteristics are there uh, first is direction second is inclination of axis and the third one is the speed so first we will discuss the direction the earth completes one rotation from west to east west to east on its axis in 23 hours uh 56 minutes and 4.09 seconds roughly in 24 hour that is one day so this is the time which earth take to complete its one rotation that is 23 hours 56 minutes and 40 uh 4.09 seconds now the uh, next uh, characteristics of rotation uh, is uh, inclination of uh, axis as we know that the earth is always tilted in the same direction toward the pole star as it move around the sun clear and uh, the angle at which the earth is tilted is known as inclination of the earth's axis and here in this picture you will be able to understand that this is the axis of the earth clear then this axis is tilted at an 23 and half degree clear 23 and half degree from vertical from vertical 23 and half degree right and this means that ki if a lines were drawn on the parallel to the plane clear plane of the earth's orbit then the axis would make an angle of 66 and half a degree clear so this is the inclination of the earth's axis that is 23 and half degree and the next characteristics is a speed speed of the earth the speed of the earth uh, earth's rotation at the equator is maximum at the minimum at the uh, pole clear so the speed of the 
Earth's rotation at the equator is 1670 km per hour. Clear? And you must be knowing the circumference uh, circumference of the earth is uh, 40,070 km, which is uh, covered in 24 hours in one rotation. Right? And the speed decreases as we move towards the pole. When the earth rotates uh, on its axis, uh, due to that movement, number of things occurs. Right, so let us see ki what are the effects of rotation of the earth. So the first effect, the first effect is the occurrence of day and night. Now just see, uh, when the earth is rotating on its axis causes the day and night. How? Uh, because the part of the earth the part of the earth which faces the sun have day and the part which don't face the sun have night. This happened not all of a sudden or not suddenly but gradually and slowly. Right? So the time when the sun begins to cast its light clear. So uh, that time is called as a dawn. Right? At noon. For example, this part is getting vertical sunlight. So this part is enjoying the noon. Clear? And dusk, the evening, the evening, right? The, the dusk, it is to a light and the sun is seen disappearing in the sky. At night, it is completely dark. At present, here. Completely dark. Right, and so duration of the day and night, uh, but the duration of uh, day and night is uh, not equal at all the places of earth, and this is only because of the inclination of the axis that we will study later in a detailed way why it is happening. This happened not all of a sudden or not suddenly, but gradually and slowly. Right, so the time when the sun begins to cast its light. Clear. So uh, that time is called as a dawn. Right. At noon, for example, this part, that part must have enjoyed the uh, dawn. Now this part is getting vertical sunlight. So this part is enjoying the noon. Clear. And dusk, uh, the evening, the evening, right. The, the dusk, it is to a light and the sun is seen disappearing in the sky. At night, it is completely dark. At present, here. Completely dark, right? And so duration of the day and night, uh, but the duration of uh, day and night is uh, not equal at all the places of earth. And this is only because of the inclination of the axis that we will study later in a detailed way why it is happening. But one thing is clear, the length of the day varies with respect to season as well as latitude. Otherwise we can say as we move away from the equator, the size of the day and night used to change. As much as we go far from equator, the size of the day or night varies and uh, at the equator, there is no change in the size of day and night at the equator. Now the next uh, effect, that is sunrise and sunset. It happens because of the rotation. How? Let us see. The sunrise and sunset are also caused by the, uh, are also caused by the rotation of the earth. Uh, and uh, that is also when it is rotating, it is rotating from west to east. And this happened due to the earth's rotation. Every part of the earth's surface faces the sun at some or other time. The part of the earth that moves from darkness into the sun rays, experience sunrise. And when it moves away from the sun, uh, uh, sun rays, it experiences sunset. Now the third effect of the rotation of the earth is a Coriolis effect. It's a Coriolis effect. You must have studied in uh, physics and uh, we know that the Coriolis effect refers to the force experienced by any moving object 
over the surface of a rotating body just like earth clear and this uh, this has been proven by number of experiments now for example uh if you are sitting in this type of swing or merry go and it is not moving and if you throw the ball it will directly come to his hand but in case if it is rotating okay it is rotating and at that time if you throw the ball ball and the ball will not go straight it uh, curve it used to take a curve clear and this is only and only because of a coriolis effect know that earth is a moving body it is rotating on its axis right and the coriolis effect can be experienced here and the coriolis effect plays an important role in the movement of air and water clear that is the ocean current uh, ocean current clear so due to this effect the wind and the ocean current move clockwise in the northern hemisphere and anti clockwise in the southern hemisphere or we can say that that uh, uh, these wind and uh, wind and the ocean current deflected to the right to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere so i hope you understood how the rotation uh, become the main cause of day and night sunrise and coriolis effect now we are just going to read the next topic the inclination of earth's axis and its significance right as we have said the rotation is the spinning of the earth on in on its axis from west to east and the axis is imaginary line passing through the center of the earth on which it rotate right and the, and the very important part we have studied that earth uh, earth's axis is not straight vertical line but it is tilted tilted uh, an angle of 23 and half degree uh, a degree now we are just going to imagine let us imagine that the earth has a vertical axis then what will happen now assume this is the axis south pole north pole in the situation if the sunlight falls on the earth the whole latitudes will get equal amount of light and the size of the day and the size of the night will be equal on all the latitudes clear it's very important ki in case if the vertical axis is there then the size of the day and night will be equal on all the latitudes but the reality is that the earth's axis is not vertical but it is tilted clear now now if you look at this picture you will be able to see here ki the sunlight is not equal uh, on every latitude here you will be able to see the whole path is lighted when when the earth is the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun in this situation when the northern hemisphere is getting more sunlight and that's the reason the size of the day are bigger okay the size of the day or length of the day is bigger when the hemisphere is towards the sun and you will be able to see the here at the north pole they are able to enjoy full 6 month day clear and if you see here at this time period that is the uh, during the summer in the northern hemisphere at that time the south pole is not able to get a uh, uh, sunlight at all clear so they have they have the 6 month night and here in other now if you talk about the tropic of cancer tropic of cancer the length of a day is bigger and the length of night is a uh, uh, smaller when in the summer when is the summer the summer when the northern hemisphere is towards the sun tilted toward the sun and if you talk about tropic of capricorn here you are able to see the 
the southern hemisphere is moved away from the sun during the summer clear uh, or uh, instead of summer if we talk about uh, june clear so it's a uh, southern hemisphere is uh, moved away from the sun and this situation they are uh, not able to get the uh, mm, uh, enough uh, uh, light and heat and in this situation peak of capricorn the days are shorter and the nights are longer right and it will be just opposite if the northern hemisphere used to move away from the sun in the month of december so what will happen the same situation the the days become shorter and the nights become longer as we can see here right so that is the reason we can say that the inclination of the axis is deciding the length of day and night which is not at all equal at all the longitudes except the equator equator used to enjoy the equal size of day and night throughout the year because they used to get throughout the year the vertical sunlight on the equator so here we have completed the uh, the first movement of the uh, earth that is rotation so just we will recap what all things we have studied we have studied uh what is the two main movement uh of the earth that is rotation and revolution then we have studied about the characteristics of rotation in that we have studied three its speed um sorry its direction that is west to east then its inclination that is uh, it is inclined 23 and half degree clear and uh, after that we have studied its speed that is uh, 1670 km per hour at the equator uh, clear and after that we have studied the effect of the rotation of the earth mainly three effect which is in your syllabus that is the occurrence of day and night second sunrise sunset and the third the coriolis effect clear and after that we have studied the inclination of the earth's axis and its significance uh uh earth axis is tilted uh if it is uh, if we assume that it is vertical what will happen and actually what and how this inclination of axis is deciding the size of the uh, size of the uh, day and night day and night so these all things we have uh, revised today assignments and uh, the clicked photo of each page will be there in the description box just uh, you download clear so this is enough for today's class uh, we will meet in the next class bye take care